Hey you guys, I got curious about whether or not you could make a mold from an art foamy. So using a molding compound, this one I have happens to be Amazing Mold Putty. It's a two part mix, basically kind of a clay type of thing. You mix the two parts together. Once they're mixed, you have three minutes of working time to put it on your table, press something into it and let it dry. Um, once it's dry, it turns into a mold in which you can pour resin, paint, um, use for Crayola clay, anything like that. So, and I've made a few of them before. I wasn't sure you could make them with art foamies. This is one of my foamies. And when I was working on the wood rainbows, I'll put a picture here. I did the two pieces I attached to the wood rainbows. One is wood and one is chipboard, which is fine and that worked great, but I don't know why I got to be in my bonnet about, can you make a resin mold of these? And if you do, then can you pour clay, pour clay, pour some like of that fast resin, like the 10 minute resin in it and make sort of a, yeah, I mean, or can you use Crayola clay or, I don't know, so I'm trying it. Hold on. Talking to the camera and it's not on. Okay, so I used a two part um, silicone putty mix. Um, so it's like any two part thing. It's one to one, you mix them together. When they're fully mixed, you have three minutes of open time to get something molded into the putty. So the first time I did it, which was this one, I put the ball of putty on the plastic wrap and then I wrapped another piece of plastic wrap around the art foamy and pushed it in and left it there. And it worked okay. Oops, hold on. It worked okay. It's not completely dry yet, but there you go. Um, this, this one, which inspired that thought here, might be too detailed because of those fingers on the hands. But, and I think the more detailed your foamy is, the less likely this is gonna to be to work. But then I thought I'll try it again. So this time I did it a little differently. And I used this piece that I cut off of one of my new foamy, foamies called Directions, I think. And um, did the same process. I mixed a ball of putty one-to-one -one with the two parts. When it was fully mixed, <clears throat> I put it on a piece of plastic wrap. And then I flattened out the other end of the plastic wrap and wrapped it over, making sure there were no wrinkles. And then I pushed the foamy into the ball of putty with the plastic wrap in between. I don't think you should push these directly into the putty because I have a feeling this foam might stick. Anyway, this one came out slightly better because of that process, but also that's a simpler stamp with bigger lines. And then I did another heart. Oh, this one came out a little better than the first one. It's not perfect, but it's a little better. And I also did this one. I decided I should stop there because I'm not sure any of them are gonna work for what I want. Although that being said, I think they'll all work to a certain respect anyway. I need to let them sit and then we'll play with some, um, I have some quick cast. Is that what it's called? Easy cast, quick cast, the stuff that, I don't do a lot with resin anymore, but I have the stuff that dries in like 10 minutes. Um, but we need to let these dry first and we'll probably just let them dry overnight and then we'll see. I get these weird bees in my bonnet every now and then. And then I just have to play an experiment until I figure out if it's crazy or not so crazy. This one might be a little crazy. I'll be back. Okay, so as I suspected, it sort of worked. So this is the heart one, both versions. This is the foamy. So it sort of worked. You could bring out the little bit of the design with some black ink or paint. It's very faint. Now, the other foam foamies of mine that I chose to use came out much better than this one. On this one, I think the lines are too fine and thin. 
and it's too small. It's not bold enough. So this one, nice big bold design, and this is just a piece of what the original the original looks like. This is cut off from like there, something like that. There's one more over here somewhere. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, this is a much bolder design and it molded much better. And the, the mold came out great. The, again, this is fast cast, not easy cast, fast cast. So it dries in 10 minutes. Um, now I also decided to try this one. This is a favorite of mine. And um, this is the mold that we got. Now, again, these lines are fairly bold and so I thought maybe it might come out and it did. Once you again put some color on the raised bits to bring the design out, it would look really great. So anyway, they're still a little bit flexible and um, not all the way dry and um, stiff yet, but yeah, kind of worked. that way our art foamy molded resin pieces that we made yesterday I love the way they turned out and uh, I'm gonna just let them dry I may add words to them and I'm thinking about gluing or um, using e6000 to glue a plant stake to the back of them and sticking them in some of my potted plants I have around the house because how cute would this one, like this one be? If you had a little word on it that said, um, whatever direction you go, make sure it's forward or something like that. Um, yep. Yeah. So anyway. <sighs> Thank you. 